And welcome back to Charlottesville Insights. This is Jeff Gaffney, your host. So last week on the show, uh, we had Pat Jensen, who's the managing broker of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate 3, our 29 North office. And we were going through this article that said that 2012 could be the best year to buy a home in decades. And that was based on basically two things that are happening in the market today. Prices are anywhere between 20 and 30 percent off their high point. And interest rates, although they've ticked up a little bit this week, interest rates are still around 4 percent. And when you combine those two factors together, it really produces a climate it's a great situation for affordability. And first up on our show today, we have Jay Callagher. And I want to get Jay's take on that in terms of is now just an amazing time to buy a home, in your opinion? It certainly feels that way, Jeff, uh, based on what we're seeing in uh, neighborhoods like Belvedere, where the uh, traffic of prospective buyers is, uh, is really at a, a high we haven't seen in three or four years. Uh, and so it feels great. The interest rates are still phenomenal. There's a lot of inventory, as you know, but it is coming down as the, the sales have picked up in 2012. So it's certainly feeling a lot better. It's about 39%, 38% of he- ahead of last year, year to date. So um, if we think back 12 months uh, ago to how we felt versus today, it feels great. One of the untold uh, stories of 2012 is that inventory is actually, nationally, is at a five-year low, which I think surprised a lot of people. But uh, I'm interested in your take on this. My theory is that there are some people that have had their house on the market for a long time, decided to just take it off. They were unrealistic uh, with their expectations, either on price or it wasn't in the right condition and so forth. And, uh, and then the homes now that come to the market, it seems like the seller and maybe via their realtor has gotten a lot more knowledgeable that, you know, if you don't price it right, it's not even worth going to the marketplace. Yeah, that's right. It, it still feels like it's got it's got to be priced right. There's, uh, you know, real estate's still most most important to look at it as a local market and locally, uh, our inventories are, are coming down, uh, but the buyers still seem to have a lot of choices. They've got gr- great mortgage rates to to work with, uh, and they're more educated. The sellers uh, are, seem to be pricing their homes correctly now, because the sales rate uh, seems to reflect uh, you know sales pace consistent with correctly priced homes. Well, I'm glad to have you on the show. We've got Jay Callagher on the show with us today. Again, he's vice president of sales and marketing at Stonehouse, one of the area's leading developers. And take us through Belvedere. I absolutely love that neighborhood. And now you've got um, some exciting stuff going on with you've got Cathcart Properties. Tell us about that and and then Belvedere Station as well. Sure. I'd love to. Uh, Belvedere's certainly uh, shown a great and improving sales pace really for about a year and a half now, but it uh, it does continue into 2012 uh, with a, a new home sales pace of better than three a month, uh, which feels great. We are at, at a point where it's picked up to a, to a point where even in phase one, we're down to just a handful of lots remaining in phase one. And so we are working uh, at a, a fast pace on phase two and, and look to bring that to the market uh, this summer. Uh, so we'd love to have a lot more lots available right now, and we don't. Um, but that's a, a good problem to have. And so uh, phase two will come to the market this summer, uh, and a ton of activity. You mentioned Cathcart. Yes, the reserve at Belvedere, the luxury apartments uh, are moving at a very fast pace. They'll have their first tenants moving in in June. Uh, look to have that project completed over the next 12 months uh, in terms of the construction. Uh, and big news this week, the Senior Center, located just around the corner from where we are right now, uh, on Pepsi Place, uh, that property closed this month, excuse me, this week in Belvedere. And so the Senior Center, uh, we're ex- excited to have them as part of Belvedere uh, in the coming uh, years. And that'll add a lot of vibrancy to the neighborhood. And I think uh, Belvedere Station, our village center, which is now uh, on the market and working uh, with potential tenants in there, uh, we're excited to have Belvedere Station adding more vibrancy to the neighborhood. Uh, looking forward to having a destination restaurant, uh, coffee shop and some other real uh, vital uh, vitality adding uh, amenities for Belvedere that will be exciting with Belvedere Station. Now, if any of our listeners today are potential first time home buyers or maybe second time home buyers or maybe move down, whatever, if they're in the market, what could they go into today in Belvedere? You've got some homes that are finished? 
We do. Uh, I would say new construction inventory, and this is true uh, across our market. Uh, Belvedere is no different. So new home inventory is not where we'd like it to be. We'd love to have a, a, a volume of specs to be able to respond to the market. Uh, we have a lot of prospective buyers who would like something that's immediately available. There's a shortage of that. We do have a, a few homes available. Um, I think there are currently four new construction specs either uh, completed or underway, uh, and they serve a market starting in the low fours up to the mid fives, uh, and there's still an opportunity to uh, in Belvedere to uh, to get a single-family home in the, in the, three, in the 300s. So uh, we serve a wide swath of the market, uh, and I think that's what's helped one of the reasons it's helped um, sales pace in Belvedere to be strong. It's an awesome neighborhood. Uh, I have a lot of friends that have purchased in there. You guys have done a great job. Um, tell me now, with uh, Meadow Creek Parkway and some of that road situation, has, has the chaos sort of cleared up and, and are things a little bit better on Rio Road now? It, it has. It certainly will make an enormous difference when the city portion is completed of the John Warner Parkway. But uh, that, that even better connects Belvedere to downtown. And so we, we talk about the fact that we're an easy bike ride downtown. Uh, we are currently, and it'll be even better so, or more so, when the John Warner Parkway city portion is completed uh, and, and really makes it uh, just a tremendous location. You just zip Belvedere. right downtown yeah. from Belvedere. That's correct. Uh, another article came out this week. I'd like your take on it. It's uh, This is from CNN Money. Had an article posted this week that said that home buying is now much cheaper than renting. And obviously that's based upon uh, what we talked about earlier with interest rates being where they are, price uh, being really attractive now, 20 25% off their highs. Uh, but the other thing that's happened is rental uh, rates have really gone up across the country, but you're mm -hmm. seeing that in Charlottesville. There's a huge demand for renting. What do you think about that? Well, we we believe that to be the case. Uh, certainly, Cathcart has indicated a, a lot of interest and, and a lot of uh, pre-leases signed for their luxury rental apartments. And I know they rent anywhere from about a thousand a month to up and around seventeen or eighteen hundred for one, two, or three bedroom. Uh, apartments. So they are seeing good traffic uh, and encouraging uh, contracts uh, getting executed. I would say for Belvedere, uh, certainly the interest rate mortgage rates are helpful to the buyers in the neighborhood and throughout the market here. Uh, I think the also the option, the ability to have the rentable carriage house has made a big difference in Belvedere. So that helps uh, if someone would like to have a, 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 an apartment efficiency above their garage that they can rent. Uh, that rental stream helps them manage uh, purchasing in Belvedere, for example, uh, better than they would if they didn't have that opportunity. Well, your organization has done a great job. Uh, we're talking with Jay Callagher of Stonehouse, and Bob Hauser is really – he's a hands-on developer there. He's, he's out there all the time. Absolutely. We're, we uh, this week just broke ground on the community garden. Bob was out there uh, taking a uh, muddy shoes approach to – uh, getting that going and, and uh, working the tractor and, and uh, getting some uh, work going on our community guards, which are exciting to the, to the current residents in the neighborhood. I'll have, a, have to place an order with Mr. Hauser. Let me uh, swing out to Crozet because one of the best kept secrets uh, in, in, um, in housing, new construction, is your West Hall mm -hmm. development. A ton of sales going on out there. Tell us about yeah. that. West Hall really uh, opened for sales in the last, uh, not, say, 90 days, uh, excuse me, about 120 days now. Uh, Ryan Holmes selling better than two a month in West Hall. The neighborhood looks great. There are six or seven homes uh, either completed or underway, uh, and they continue to see a really brisk pace. I think Crozet overall has a very strong uh, sales pace, uh, and West Hall is no different. Great neighborhood, uh, kind of hidden back from the main roads, yet uh, – just very charming neighborhood, and uh, this phase of West Hall uh, looks absolutely great, and the homes are great. West Hall and Belvedere, two winners. Stonehouse has done a great job. We're here with Jay Callagher, and he happens to also be one of the biggest Redskin fans in Charlottesville, which I, I am too. I'm a huge Redskin fan, and I want to know. RG3, baby. Uh, <laughs> well, that's the question. <laughs> what do you think? Is it RG3? Is, is he uh, our, I mean, what do you think about that whole thing trading up uh, to this? I think the trades were, uh, I'm, I, I like it now, I'll say that. I, although I'm, I'm even thinking that maybe RG3 is going to look so good that the Colts will take him, and we're going to end up with uh, winning the, the luck lottery, as they say. We'll see. Uh, and and do you ever see a, a time when the Redskins are back in the playoffs? 
Uh, I do see a time, yeah, in my lifetime, I think. Uh, I think they'll get back in the playoffs. That's that's what I'm going to stick with. You still got your old hogs, uh, little little nose thing that you put on every Sunday. You know, I don't have that. I I, I stick with the John Riggins jerseys. I'm, I'm I'm hanging on to the '80s glory. Love it, love it, Jay Calger. Thanks for being on the show. We'll be right back with more Charlottesville.